Howdy folks, Tex Scrivener here with Tex Scrivener Outdoors. I recently joined a Society for Creative Anachronism, or SCA group. Now you see, when I was younger, I thought that SCA stood for Society for Creative Anarchism. Of course, I did have a bit of a reading impediment when I was younger, but quite honestly, Society for Creative Anarchism sounds a lot more fun. But I went to my first SCA meeting, slash fighting practice, it went remarkably well, and I also got clearance to film, sparring, drills, lectures, and so on. So, it is about time that on my quest to become a true sportsman, sportsman being an athlete engaged in outdoor pursuits, such as hunting, fishing, horsemanship, fencing, boxing, and wrestling, that it's about time that I bring the sword back into my rapport. For the time being, I am much too broke to afford a horse. Three of these swords I built myself. I can't necessarily say that I made them myself, but I assembled them out of spare parts that I had lying around. One of them was a custom. So it's very similar to building an AR-15 out of parts kits at home, but with a sword. These are unsharpened fencing safe replicas. Now this here is my custom small sword made by James the Just. I have always had a very powerful attraction to the storyline expressed in Count of Monte Cristo. And so, I always wanted a small sword. That and Bonnie Prince Charlie had a small sword as well. But to be honest with you, I could never justify spending the amount of money that Cold Steel wanted for it for a sword that I couldn't even fence with. And so, back in my first trip to college, I was in fencing, and we had a small weapons club, and it was basically primitive-style weapons like swords. Well, this is a James the Just small sword. Very simple very effective. When I ordered my first small sword, I needed a second small sword so that if somebody showed up to the club, I could have an equivalent weapon for them. So I ordered two blades. This is a fencing small sword blade and I use the term fencing very loosely, but this particular sword, the Skull Sword, has an interesting history because this is a regular old epe pommel, but everything else in the grip, eBay. This was a simple Pirates of the Caribbean knockoff guard the eyes of the sword and the grip and the handle. But it was so simple to simply unscrew the original tang, slide off the handle, slide off the grip or the finger choils, the eyes of the sword, and slide off the front plate and then completely reblade it with a completely functional fencing epee blade, tighten everything down, and now because the original pommel didn't work with the threads, I just used a simple epee pommel. And so this is my second small sword that I assembled. This is the first sword that I ever assembled myself. This is a Schlager blade by Paul Chen. 
but you may, if you have ever looked through Smoky Mountain Knife Works, recognize this swept hilt rapier style. I simply rebladed it just by twisting off the pommel on the original swept hilt rapier which was actually a prop from my days in a musical, Pirates of Penzance. But I simply twisted off the pommel, removed the set nut, and slid everything off the front, and twisted everything back together with a Schlager blade for SCA cut and thrust. But I'm not done yet. This sword, at least the basket, was originally from the Royal Mile in Edinburgh on a high school English trip for English literature. And it was, of course, a Scottish basket hilt sword. However, it was a tourist trap type sword. And so, since I had a spare cut and thrust blade, I twisted off the handle, I shaved down the tang with a hacksaw, and pressed in a nut into the actual tang cap, and threaded this down. So I now have a Rob Roy style cut and thrust blade as well. Completely functional. pretty awesome, and I did this all myself. My cut and thrust rapier and my scotch basket hilt I just did today. But the good news is, I now finally have a use for these swords. I would like to think that my two cut and thrust swords with their new old Schlager blades and the movie replica type hilts came out pretty darn good. Again, I am not a custom builder, I am not a blacksmith, I am not a swordsmith. What I have done is nothing more than the same as a person building an AR-15 out of a parts kit. And the good news is, it didn't really cost me anything, because pretty much any movie replica type pommel, guard, and grip will be able to slide over top of an actual SCA approved type blade, be it an Epe blade, a Schlager, or a practical rapier blade. And if you have to cut new threads on it, go ahead and do it. That is the story of these three swords that I have assembled and my one true custom sword that came out beautifully. However, stay tuned because I am on a quest to become a sportsman. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Texas Grabner Outdoors.